mercilessly dropped on there. Nice though. What's up people, it's your boy Jatwa, I'm here today in Kerbal Space Program. Today we are designing a little bit of an interesting craft because I want to show you the thought process and design that goes behind some of these Infernal Robotic Crafts since I didn't get my chance to actually do a stream on Friday like I had planned. So hopefully that little bit of video shows you some of how all that plays out in my head. And if you guys really want the entire non-cut version, I can also offer that to you at a later time so you can just kind of look over and see everything and all the problems that I ran into and all the things that uh, all the challenges that you had to overcome in order for a craft like this to even exist so what you see here is the Kerbal in a box but it's not exactly a box per se we actually have a very storable aircraft here and hopefully it will work out for us like I believe it will. First, let's do our very important thing of capturing a screenshot. That doesn't look all clickbaity. So we can actually get people to take a look at this very strange and yet highly compressed aircraft. So what we need to do now is turn on our electrical systems, which I have just done. And it should be stowed under here if you're wondering what I'm using. It is this liquid fuel cell array, which is a mod that I have built. It is basically a regular cell array, but it only uses, it uses intake air and also uses liquid fuel, but it has its own intake. So all I have to do is make sure I have liquid fuel, which I have here. And this jerry can comes from Fire Spitter. And uh, this will allow me to power this electric prop, folding prop, that is also from Fire Spitter. So here you go. This is our tiny aircraft using Fire Spitter in front of robotics. Uh, take command to pop our little Kerbal in there. And tweak scale because I need to, to kind of tweak some of the part sizes for a lot of these actuating points or else you wouldn't get a craft this small and compact. So let's see if this will work for us. Let's go ahead and bring up all of our resources and let's bring up our controls here. <sighs> all right, let's um, fold everything out here. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, <laughs> that looks beautiful. Let's see it from the front here. We don't need this out here. All right, that's the wrong button. And then we f kick our wheels down. And we're ready to rock. So the next thing we need to do is deploy our propeller. I'm really hoping this flies. I'm not sure it will. And I forgot to set my control surfaces. And now, the infamous activating the engine. And making sure that we're going the right direction is very, very important. Because the, I currently was not, because I did not set my reverse thrust on, those, on that engine. So, let's see if we can do this. We just want to lift off, turning off steering on this thing. Be nice to also have this out, wouldn't it? SAS is active. Going full throttle. Oh god, oh god. Bobbling, we're bobbling. We're bobbling a lot. Oh jeez. Oh! <laughs> that was a bit scary. But it's flying! <laughs> Holy crap! I didn't know if that would work. But it's working! It's flying! That's beautiful! A personal Kerbal Craft. Look at that! So it can work! This would be a scary little thing to fly in, though. Oh, cool! <laughs> Oh man, well, sometimes when things work on the first try, it is a very, very surprising thing and awesome. Oh my god, I wish I could see through the eyes of my Kerbal because right now he would have 
the most beautiful view of everything out there. I need to set these down a lot, don't I? Because we have way too much authority going on there. Alright, well, I didn't expect this to actually fly on the first try. So, what does that mean for us? That means that, one, we have a fantastic flying craft. Our electrical charge is dropping rather quickly. There we go. Let's knock that down a touch so we're actually gaining electrical charge back and not burning through all of our liquid fuel because we actually don't have that much liquid fuel. Our liquid fuel is draining really quickly. Uh, that jerry can only handles 10 units of fuel, so once that is burned through, you are in a serious amount of trouble with an aircraft like this. So we might have enough to make it to the island. This is This would be like a little small compact aircraft to get you from point A to point B. As long as you have something to knock you into the air like the gentle bumps that are on the runway. <laughs> still, still bumping, but I don't see nothing wrong with a little bump and grind as long as it gets me into the air. So if you like what you're seeing, hit that like button. Drop me in the comment. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you enjoyed kind of a uh, quick glimpse on how to use Inferno Robotics to build a craft like this. And um, if you did, then yay, I helped someone out and I feel good. But uh, I do apologize, I could not get to that uh, stream this, this last Friday. And I'm currently exhausted, so I'm, I'm actually really thrilled this worked the first time. Because I was going to be really tired if it didn't, trying to get this thing to work. But I hope to catch you guys in the next video. For now, if you like what you see, hit that like button, drop in the comment, let me know what you think. And I'll catch you guys later. It's your boy Jatuan, I'm out. Peace. Woo! Dude, that's... That's some funky fresh stuff right there.